thanks for it to everyone for watching our uh, Brucey bonus man cave video on his annealing machine. Uh, had a lot of views on that, a lot of interesting comments, a lot of great feedback. And a local shooter, local-ish to me, Stonehaven, met Gordon yesterday. Hi, Gordon. And had a good, had a good chat. And uh, he asked me, could, he said he's got his own gas annealer. And he asked me, could I bring some brass to Bruce for him to check with his hardness tester? So, what we, if I just turn the camera around. Hi, Bruce, how you doing? Morning, Russ. How's everyone doing? Everyone's good, I hope. Um, so, yeah, so here's, here's the box I got from Gordon. 7.62 ball. And here's a collection of brass. Uh, two Virgin Lapua brass cases. And then once fired. And then we have eight... And yield for different times, 8 yes. seconds, 9 seconds, 10, 11, 12, 13 and 14. Right, and Bruce, you said you've calibrated? I've, cal I've calibrated the hardness tester. Using the, the hardness strips provided, yeah? Yeah, the, one, one is at 10 and one's 15, and I've just checked it on the hardness tester and it's reading correctly on both. Brilliant. So I'm happy with that. This is, the box is 7.62 ball. But of course it's not actually, it's 3, three Winchester. We've yeah. got 3, 308 Winchester Grass. Which is the commercial name for 7.62 yeah. NATO. Yeah. Got you. Um, okay. So let's do this piece of this Mark Virgin. Now it's Lapua. So I've got a reasonable idea what this is going to be. Can you see that, Russ? Let's uh, get the camera. Yep. Oh, that's quite hard. For Lapua. 14 and a half, is it? 14 and a half. Mm. That's Excellent. quite hard. I'll do, a, I'll do another test on that one just a little bit further around. You got it? Yep. Oh, 14, 14 and a half. and a half again, consistent. That's, that's 14. I'll write that down just because I'll forget. Yep. Okay. This is Virgin B. So a second Virgin brass case. 14. And 90 degrees round. 14, 14 on the button, so consistent. Aye. That is isn't interesting, that's higher than my brand new Lapua Virgin uh, 22250 and 243, which are usually about 12, 13, slightly, slightly less hard. Okay, so the 308 so, is slightly three, harder. Yep, yep. Okay, let's try this same um, once fired. So I'm presuming this is once fired but not annealed. Okay, so that'll be harder. So one would think it would be harder. You okay? Yep. yep. 16. 16, lo and behold. This is all off the cuff, viewers, because... This is in real I've, time. I've, I've, got, I've only been here 10 minutes, and we've been blethering for... Well, I've been blethering for right. most of that. Yep. S 16 and a half, isn't it? Okay, fair enough. So, say 16 and a half. Okay, so let's try his 8 second. So that's in the yield for 8 seconds. Okay. Put up. 16. Well, that's not annealed then, is it? Nope. So six, eight seconds isn't long enough. Yep, 16 again on the button. Okay. So let's try nine seconds. Yep. Oh, 14. It's coming down. So nine seconds. So that's actually the same as unfired. Yep, let's try another one at that, on that same because the yep. gas... Oh, that 15 and a half. 15? Is that 15? 15? Four, no, 14 and a half. Uh, no, that's spot on 15. Because so this appears to be... So you're rotating it further, and that's spot on 15 again. Okay, so that's 15. That's why, okay. That was 9 seconds. Let's see what 10 does. 14 and, a, 14, 14 and a quarter. Just over 14. We'll call yeah. it 14. Yeah. 14 and a half. Okay. So the, we're discovering a little bit of unevenness in the... Uh, in the, in the tiny bit of uh, unevenness. Well, I'm not, I'm not going to be... Say. I'm not going to be putting too much on half a point in hardness. No. Right, this is now 11 seconds. So 11 seconds in yield case. 13, ooh, 13 and a quarter maybe? 13, yep. we'll call it 13. Okay. Yep, same again, 13. 
Okay, we're getting so there now. That's now softer than raw, softer than virgin that's brass. Softer than virgin. So that's so that was eleven seconds, and that's that's too many, too too long. Well, I I still think he's I still think he's virgin brass is a bit on a hard side to be too. Oh, right, okay. Okay, you ready? Yep. Now that's twelve and a half on the button. Okay. And this is twelve seconds. Twelve and a half again. Twelve and a half. Yeah. yeah. So and thirteen seconds. Thirteen seconds annealed case. On the Webster hardness tester. Yep. Twelve. It's twelve. Twelve and a, a smir Twelve and a smidgen. So twelve. Uh, 12 and a smidgen again. So we'll call it 12. 12. So that's 13 seconds. So that, so that is now getting a bit on the soft side, for, for, in your experience. It, it, it might, well, it's softer than the Virgin. Yeah. That you gave us, but it's actually down what I would expect for new Lapua 22250. Right. But, you know, I, I, yeah. I can't really say any more than that. Ready? Yep, go for it. 12. Just smidgen under 12, actually. Uh, ooh, 11 and a bit. I'll call it 11. Yeah, call it 11. Okay, and that was, the last one was 14 seconds. And uh, 14 okay. seconds, let's have a look at it. So, so this is Gordon's 308 Winchester Lapua Brass. Two virgin samples, one's fired. 8 seconds, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, and 14 at the yield. Okay. So. Okay. I. It's cl well. Clearly, this process is working. He is softening the brass. He's bringing it down um, from sixteen and a half down to eleven. No, eleven and a half to twelve. Uh, for me, I would have thought getting it down to eleven and a half or twelve is going to be would be good. It's not too soft. Right. Okay. Sorry. You it's, to... not, it's, it's not. No. Too soft, so, no, it's not too soft. No. It's not I like he's. It's not like he's melted any of his cases. No. 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 There's, there's no. There's no evidence of any melting. Um, I did. All. I did have. We did have a. Com I don't know if you you kept track with all the comments on our annealing video, but so a few people have expressed the opinion that the case is melted because there's physically more more brass within the annealer, so it generated more of a. There was more metal to generate more current to therefore mm. get hotter. That was that's the theory a few people have okay, put forward. I, well, I would disagree with that theory on the basis that the more brass there is, the less hot it's going to get. Because there's more, the more brass there is, the lower the resistance is. So there's less heating effect with the same amount of current flowing through that brass. Okay. Okay. And generally speaking, the neck thickness is pretty much on all centerfire cartridges. There's really small stuff like Hornet. The, bra the the neck thickness doesn't really change all that much. Right. What I found is, it's where where who made it. Okay. Um, I've now had a chance to to do a big. Quite a big sample of two four three brass. I've had what from I've had Lapua, Norma, Saco, RWS, Geco, PPU, which are all European manufacturers. Right. Okay. And in two four three, all of those types of brass are properly annealed at times between between nine and ten seconds. Right. I also had from the same batch I had American brass, Federal, Winchester. Remington, Hornady, I think that was it. Okay. And all of those were fully annealed between six and six and a half seconds. Okay. And if I put any of those American brass in at nine or ten seconds, they would melt. Okay. So whether there's a difference in the alloy mixture the Americans are using from the Europeans, I don't know. If there's differences in the dimensions, I don't know. But I can definitively say that all the American brass I've tested needs less annealing time than the European brass needs. Okay, and thirty out six is an American well, cartridge. Well, thirty the, Well, the stuff that was melting was was Hornady. Right. Okay, which is an American brand. Ah, and and I, another Dave Will gave me a heap of um, six point five Creedmoor, which he thought was all Lapua, uh -huh. and I set it up and it was working fine. In one case, melted. No, turned it upside down. Hornady. <laughs> right. Okay. So, so it's, it's it's difficult. It's, different chemical composition of the American brass. I. Th I, I, that, again, that's speculation, but there's definitely a difference between European brass from the, the, every European manufacturer. Yeah. Manufacturer's brass that I've tested has been pretty close to the same between nine and ten seconds. Right. And all the American stuff is between between six and six and a half. 
Right. Well, that's you've tested. It sounds like you've tested a lot of cases. Well, I've, I've now a lot got, of brands. That's right. I've tested heaps of different brands now. Right. All in the same. All in the same uh, size. Two, four, three. Yeah. Um. So th- that that's that's what I'm finding. Yeah. And uh, where's my notes? I've actually got. A, I actually did some. Here we go. No, that's yeah. Oops. You're deep in the man cave now, viewers. Okay. I must have. Must have, must Must have been a different pad. Must have been a different pad. Because of that, I had a, I made up a table of the different manufacturers and and what what the times were. Right. Um, Because Neil Ferguson gave me a bag of brass and I sorted through it all and and, uh, cleaned it all up and I sorted it by manufacturer. Yeah. I had seven or eight different bins of cartridges and I was basically playing around with each and it didn't take long to find out that the American brass didn't like the same times as the no. as the European brass. So if you could find that chart, I'll tag that on the end yeah, of the video. Yeah. Right, video resumed. Bruce has found his uh, list. Now this this is this is for a, a batch of two four three brass. So for Norma, that was five samples, um, and before they were annealed, they were all seventeen on the hardness scale. And ten seconds annealing time brought them brought them back to twelve. Right. Sarko, again, five samples, 15 to 17 prior to annealing, nine seconds, got them back to, to 12. PPU, which is made in Serbia, right, had yeah. only three cartridges of that, and it, it's notoriously hard brass, 17 right. to 18 prior to, prior to annealing, eight and a half seconds, got it back to soft. RP is Remington. Right. Remington Peter, so it's quite old brass. I had 13 pieces of that. Before annealing, it was 16 to 17 in a hardness tester. Six seconds to anneal it back to, to oh, 12. Crikey, that's a difference. FC is Federal, Federal Cartridge, again an American company, again had 13 samples. And again, I, prior to annealing, hardness was 15 to 17, 6.2 seconds and brought it back to that's hardness. Crikey. And Hornady, seven samples, again 16 to 17 prior to annealing, six seconds got it back to where it should be. Right. And any of those three, Remington, Federal, or Hornady, yep. if I'd run them for those times, they would have melted. Right. Guaranteed. Okay. Yeah. Because I was because when I was setting the timers up, I was looking at the brass just just trying to get that colour change. Yeah. Um and uh, if I'd let them if I'd let the Americans run for that time, pfft, melted. hundred <laughs> percent. Brilliant. So so we've we've basically given we've we've come up with the figures for Gordon. So he now knows how long his an, his annealing re- requires. Mm-hmm. Um, it's up to him to choose if he wants to soften it to match the Virgin or match what or, you. Ex- I, I, I think I think he's I think he's vir- the Virgin brass is at fourteen and a half. It's hard. I mean, I've I've never measured Virgin brass as hard as that. But hey. It, it's Lapua, it's good brass. I'm not going to argue with 308. I wouldn't have thought it'd be different between 308 and 243 and, and, and 22, 250 in terms of the brass. Yeah. I, I don't know. But, but so it seems a little bit high. But we, if we give him those figures, he can now decide mm-hmm. where, what, what, what softness how, he wants to, to anneal right, it to. That's right. He, what, he's, now got store a ta- it to. he's now got a table there pretty much telling him if I put it in at that length of time, that's what it's going to come out at. Yeah. So, brilliant. Right. So he, he's getting what he wanted. That's right. So brilliant. Right. So thanks very much, Bruce. No problem. And uh, always, always something interesting with the annealing rust. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, so I'll return this brass to Gordon very shortly, and um, we've got a bunch of other stuff to look at.